can the struggle for freedom and independence ever be trivial? What if we shared a tale about a man who challenged an empire for his people's liberty? This man, Viriato, was a second century warrior from the Lusitanian tribe, now Portugal. Picture being alive when the Roman Empire, a powerful behemoth, was expanding its territories. Then, envision resisting that power, not because of ambition or greed, but for your people's right to live freely. Viriato didn't just dream, he strategized and battled. Despite the odds, he won many battles, becoming a symbol of defiance to Rome and a beacon of hope for his people. This is the story of Viriato, a man whose name became synonymous with the fight for freedom. Born into the Lusitanians, a tribe in present-day Portugal, Viriato's early years were influenced by the growing Roman Empire. As a child, he roamed his homeland, oblivious to Rome's keen interest in these lands. The Lusitanians were warriors, valuing freedom and their land, which put them in conflict with Rome's expansionist agenda. This led to a tense period of unrest and resistance. Viriato, growing amidst this, recognized the tribal vulnerability and perceived the Romans as a challenge. This viewpoint, paired with inherent leadership, laid the groundwork for future resistance. Viriato grasped his people's struggle, learning the ways of war and diplomacy. His experiences molded him into a relentless protector of his people and their liberty, serving as a symbol of defiance and resilience. Even at a young age, Viriato's fate seemed tightly bound to the struggle against the Romans. As Viriato grew, so did his reputation as a formidable warrior and a respected leader. Born amid turmoil, Viriato ascended the Lusitanian ranks, demonstrating a knack for physical combat and strategic warfare. Not a king by birthright, but his leadership and determination propelled him into the fight against the Romans. Viriato wasn't only a warrior, he was a strategist, understanding his terrain, his enemy, and utilizing guerrilla warfare tactics. Turning the Romans' strengths into weaknesses, he exploited their reliance on traditional battlefield formations. His victories, especially the Battle of Tribola, showcased his military prowess and brilliant tactics. His leadership style was just and he was committed to his people's freedom. Driven by love for his homeland, he sought to protect it from Roman invasion. Viriato's victories brought hope to his people, but they also attracted the wrath of a mighty enemy. His resistance made him a symbol of hope against oppression. The fight for freedom is often steeped in treachery, and Viriato's story is no exception. As the leader of the Lusitanians in the second century BC, Viriato resisted Roman domination. His tragic end came not on the battlefield, but by betrayal, assassinated in his sleep by his own allies bribed by the Romans. Following Viriato's death, the Lusitanians' fight for freedom seemed lost. The Romans seized the chance, overwhelming the resistance. However, Viriato's legacy lived on. His betrayal and sparked an outcry that transcended Lusitania. His resistance against the Romans became a symbol of freedom and independence. Even after centuries, Viriato's legacy endures. He's remembered not just as a warrior but as a symbol of resistance. His story is a reminder that the fight for freedom is never in vain. In the face of adversity, Viriato's spirit never wavered. His story continues to inspire, reminding us that the struggle for freedom is never in vain.